what's good what's going down out here in one of my happy spots yes yes it's, it's been a while since i've been out here too because it's been so cold but today it ain't so bad and um this is one of my happy spots before i go in, 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 in into work um and and and, and I'm, I'm i'm thinking about yesterday in church where i i, I seen pastor um and this church may have about three thousand members but um but I, I seen pastor yesterday was trying to get the people to praise the lord and, and he was having a hard time doing it because the people you know they just wouldn't do it they just wouldn't get with it and and i thought about something um because immediately I began to now this church had to have like a thousand people in it at that one time. It had to be like a thousand. But and I thought about something. I, I thought about there have been times when I've been in churches where there had to be maybe twenty people tops. And the people begin to praise the Lord. And it seemed like they were they were they was getting ready to blow the roof off the building. And here it was like a thousand people, tops, <laughs> and it was hard to give them the praise of the Lord. And and, and 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 immediately sometimes, and this word is for me. You can listen, but immediately sometimes, you, you find yourself um, getting ready to try to criticize some folk. And 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 the spirit hit me. Instead of criticizing, why not? You start off the praise and show them how it's done. No matter who's watching, no matter who's trying to get with you, no matter who looks at you and funny, no matter who's turning the nose up at you, no matter what's going on, praise ye the Lord. And perhaps when you praise the Lord, somebody else will catch on fire. Because I'm reminded of how Paul and Silas was in that jail. And they, they begin to pray and to praise God. And the other prisoners heard them, and 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 and, and when the other prisoners heard them, um, their bands were loose, and the foundation of the prison was shaken. And I, I think sometimes we think, well, uh, uh, we got to humble our own self, and uh, on a, and begin to praise the Lord our own self, and then maybe somebody else will catch on fire. So, as I was reading this morning, um, in the Word, in Psalms 119. Where it said, what well, well, the psalmist said, seven times a day shall I praise thee. And so, and so, and so I had to rebuke myself and repent myself and say, if you want something done, why not you pop it off and do it? Because sometimes, oftentimes, if you want something done right, how about you just do it yourself? <laughs> Now that word's for me. I, I, I decided in my spirit. I decided in my heart. No matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm doing, if it's time to praise the Lord, I don't care if it's in the midst of the mall. I don't care if I'm with my children. I don't. They're just gonna have to be embarrassed. I don't care. If the spirit hits right now, I will open up my mouth in seven times a day. What I praise the Lord. Seven is completion. That means your praise should be complete. That means it's not counting off seven times. But I shake head nambo do koba. But let me get out of here though, because I'm because I'm getting a little dizzy just from watching this water. I'm supposed to be going on a cruise in June. And I'm just dizzy right now with this little water. So I don't know how that's gonna work. I, I'm still debating. Maybe I'm just gonna have to praise my way through this.